Hello, welcome to an edition of On the Road with Steph. So I have just arrived in my hotel room at the Denver airport area. I've been in four different hotel rooms in four nights. Definitely not complaining, it's, it's great. <laughs> I had a long drive um, over the last few days, two like five plus hour drives. And I'm back, I leave tomorrow morning and I'm just kind of reflecting on the week and what's been and some things that were really cool. And I thought I would chat about them in case there's some wins that you might be able to bring back into your own life. So one of them was, I told you I had this, had this super long drive. So um, the weather was great and the roads were clear like summer and it was, um, you know, not not windy, not twisty, not hilly, not like that dark, uh, scary drive I had a couple weeks ago. So it was a, a, a pleasantly uneventful drive. So that was definitely something to be thankful for. And on that drive by, by myself, which some people might not like, I got to talk to a lot of people. I could phone my brother who I hadn't talked to in a long time. I might talk to some friends. I talked to Vic, my my mom's a honey at 97 years old. He's in California, so I got to catch up with him, so that was fun. I did some business calls. I listened to, finished my audio book. I finished Atomic Habits, and that was great. Podcasts, and you stop wherever you want when you're by yourself. If you have to go to the bathroom or you have to have a snack or you just stop wherever you want, so that was awesome. And so I stopped at a Mexican restaurant called Three Margaritas, and I got to practice my Spanish, so that was that was fun. So it made a long drive actually quite nice. I was grateful. And coming back into Denver, you know, the mountains in the distance and the sun setting, it was really, it was really quite beautiful. The other cool thing that happened is sort of spur of the moment, I ended up finding a videographer to video, video, videograph the event that I had. And I was contacting people online and there wasn't a ton to choose from in this smaller town that I was in. But the one I ended up finding, I found him because somebody I contacted couldn't do it, but contacted someone else who couldn't do it, who contacted someone else, which I thought was sort of above and beyond, right? There was nothing in it for them to help me find someone, but they just chose to help me. And who I ended up uh, getting was this young fellow named Jeremiah. And I didn't know this, but Jeremiah's like TikTok viral sensation. So I mean, I'm gonna have to start following him. So I, I did go take a peek and see some of the things that he did. And one of the things he was riding around his motorcycle, I guess with a GoPro, and he was pulling over police officers and giving them donuts and $10 uh, coffee cards, which I thought was awesome. Like I would have never, so I love sharing great ideas because uh, people are so smart and things I never would have thought of doing, but it's like, hmm, maybe I could do something like that. That would be cool to do. So I really appreciated having Jeremiah. And the other thing that was really neat, so I I had some, uh, I decided to pay him in cash while I was there, but I had the money in my room. So I said, do you mind coming upstairs and I'll, I'll get you your money? And so we went upstairs and he said, I'll, I'll just wait in the hallway. And I thought that was so kind and so respectful um, for a young man to do. So I thought that was cool. And then um, one of my audience members presented me with this little bag of goodies, which has really, I don't think ever happened before. Sometimes from the meeting planner or something, you'll get a little gift. But this was from an audience member who had, I guess, seen me like four years ago. And I, she gets my newsletter. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, stephaniestaples.ca, there's a newsletter tab. Um, so she's been following me for years and, and such. And so she'd reached out. I heard you're coming to our conference and I'm excited to have you. And if you need anything, you know, reach out and let me know. And numerous times before the conference, she reached out to me and asked if there was anything I needed to, to uh, for help or if I'd like to go for dinner or that sort of thing. And then at the conference, after the conference, she presented me with this little, little gift bag, which, you know, when someone's right in front of you and there's people around and you don't have an opportunity to really, I opened it but I didn't take a good, good look. But, but now I'm, I'm just diving into it. If the stars were thank yous, I'd give you the entire night sky, which I thought was like super beautiful. And so she wrote, you know, a lot of nice things in here. Um, she says, enjoy these little trinkets from Nebraska. And she underlines it. Thank you for coming to Nebraska. And she underlines it. 
and making our quality conference so awesome. You are blessed with so many gifts and talents. Thank you for sharing them so abundantly. And, and, on, and on she goes. So I thought that was so sweet. It's not the fact that she brought me a gift that I that I think was so amazing. It's that she, you know, took the time to go getting things that were specifically from Nebraska. Um, it's a Nebraska pen. So I'm just going to dive deeper into this little uh, thing that she bought. Um, throw kindness around like confetti and notepad. Herbal tea. It's Nurse Me, which is kind of it was a healthcare conference, so that's appropriate, even though I think it's made for nursing moms, but that's okay. <laughs> it could be made for past nurses also. I bet it smells really good. Oh, speaking of smelling good, peppermint lip balm from Nebraska. Awesome, which matches my peppermint tea from the lobby. And a little box doesn't like presents. A ah, little bracelet. And it says fearless on there. So you know what this, this kind of stuff makes me want to do? Never ever have I gone to a conference and brought the speaker a gift. Never ever. Never thought of it. But now that somebody has done it for me, it's going to make me think, okay, next time I go to an event or I go to something, you know, where there's lots of people, I mean, what is one thing that I can do to make that person feel more special, feel more acknowledged, feel more valued? And, you know, probably without a lot of money, but a little bit of thought, this is something that, that I could do. And I will do it because I will pay it forward because Rhonda did it for me. So I think that's pretty cool. So here I sit in my hotel room Friday night. Um, I probably will go to the gym. I almost always go to the gym when I'm in hotel rooms because because it's there and because I can. And even if I just go for 10 minutes, it's better than nothing. So just put on your, put, put on your stuff and just go for a little bit of time, whether it's a gym or for a walk, because I never, ever, ever come back and, and say, I wish I didn't do that. So I think that's it. That's life on the road with Steph this week. We are, uh, this was the Denver, Nebraska trip. It was super great. Um, I got the survey results back already and 100% of people thought it was valuable and would like to see me again and I am pumped, jazzed and excited about, about spreading my message around. So if you know anybody who wants a little revitalization in their workplace, in their organization or in, at their conference, you know where to find me. See ya. Have a good night.